Hey guys, we're back at it again with another episode of Unboxing. As you can see on the screen, we have brought you guys Mystic Stories, Rookie Girl Group, Billy with us. I'm very excited for this, as you can see. And as you can tell by the voice, I'm super hyped for it. So let's dive straight in. I'm just gonna pull out the album real quick. Ooh, look how cool that is. That is amazing. Look how, you know, spooky feel to it. And you know, the graphic itself is so fine too. And as you can see, since we visited the media showcase of Billy, Billy, uh, we have all their signatures. Very special, very unique, I love it. And moving on to the back, as you can see, we have the track list. The first track is might be The Birth of Emotion. The second track's gonna be Brave, a song for Matilda. The third track's the title track, Ring My Bell. The fourth track's gonna be Sun Palace. Fifth, pla uh, fifth track is MacGuffin, Who's the Joker. And the last track, Back to Where We Belong. So the funny little story about Oh, not funny, I think. It's more of an important story that you need to understand as a fan of Billy. The sixth and the last track included within this album is written by Billy's members for their fans. So this is a very unique track and a very lovely emotional track for you guys. So make sure to check that out when you listen to it. And let's get back to unboxing. So since we've seen both front and back of the album, I'm just gonna dive straight in and see what's inside. So, ta-da! Ooh, they're starting off strong. They put all the goodies on the first place. So, well, as you can see, we have all the goodies stored on the first page of the album. And, you know, we will get back to you guys on the goodies later, as we do all the time, and go through the photo book first. So, starting off, Okay, oh, that's so nice. The contrast between the, ah, wow, that's just, mm, I'm lost in words. So we have a group photo here with a contrasted background image of red, which just, wow, puts an emphasis on how cool and beautiful they are. And continuing on, we have more group photos. Okay, continuing on strong, I love it. So, we have Suyeon's photo, and moving on, we have more photos, individual photos, more individual photos, and Tsuki and her individual photo. I wonder what this blank space is for, actually. And more individual concept photos of her, and Sean's concept photo. Continuing on, there's more photos. There's Haram, very cool, very unique. I think she goes well with the black hairdo as well. And there's Munsua. Continuing on. Ooh, there's more concept photo, which is very different from the previous ones that we've seen. They're in a school, I think. Wow, that is very distorted school. I like it. Very spooky. Goes very well with the theme of the album. Continuing on, you see more photos. Ooh, so we are at the page where you see all the detailed lyrics and stories of the first track. Continuing on. Okay, so we have the second track's information. And more photos, individual photos and group photos. The third track and the title track, Ring My Bell. Continuing on. Ooh. And the fourth track, more individual concept photos, and the fifth track. Oh, continuing on, group photos, and this is the sixth track that I mentioned previously, the one that Billy wrote for their fans. So if you can read Korean, you know, I recommend you guys read these lyrics and, you know, it's a very unique track, as I mentioned previously. Very emotional, very personal song for Billy and Billy's fans. Continuing on, there's more group photos and uh, concept photos. Ooh, this is a little bit different from the sort of school look, you know? Ooh, okay. Very pretty. Wow, super pretty, actually. Okay, very, very pretty. Ooh, okay. 
A little bit spooky, but they're wearing a very fancy little cute clothes. And, ooh, that was the last group photo. And we are at a page of credits. And we have the physical CD on our left. So, if you look at the physical CD, this is a very standard CD with a little swirlies. I think it's in color magenta-ish red. You know, goes very well with the theme. Yeah, that's the actual physical CD. And let's move on to what's inside the goodie box. There's a lot of new things here. So I'm just gonna go with the biggest one first. Okay. Ta-da! I think this is a poster. I think you can place it on your little desk like this. Or hang it up on your wall. And decorate your room. It's pretty, really nice. Really nice. Spooky and very cool. I think this... Right here, the middle part is the part we see on our album. So that must mean there's two more parts to the album, I think. There's going to be three different variances. That's just what I think. So don't count me on that. But yes, very interesting. Very long, actually. I thought posters are supposed to be in square shape, but this is more of a rectangle and longer. Very cool. Very cool. Very unique. I'm just going to place it right here like that. I'm going to move on to the next thing. Ta-da! So this is, uh, yeah, I think this is stickers. And it's done in a matte finish. Very interesting feel to it. And I think it goes really well with the theme itself because it has magenta, little beige, black, and little blue color. And I think these are all the titles of the tracks included within Billy's new album. So yeah, if you want to decorate anything using this, feel free to. Very cool. Very cool finish to it. Very nice. So, moving on to a big photo card. We have Haram with us. You know, I think she goes really well with long black hair. You know, she looks very pretty in this photo. And I think you can use this as a postcard if you want to, or decorate it. Just put it on your wall. It's going to be a great decorative piece as well because she's so pretty. So, yeah, that's a big photo card. Really, really big photo card. And moving on to small little photo cards and little pocket protective, little transparent protective sheet. We'll get back to you on that one later. And as you can see, we are left with three different photo cards. And let's go with the unique one first. So, this is a Polaroid looking photo card. And as you can see, we have Chiki with us. Chiki has this, Chiki has this really cute vibe to it. As you can see in this photo, despite her looking like a punk rock star, she's still very cute. I like it. And as you can see in the back, it shows the Polaroid looking film. So I think this is a very unique photo card compared to most of the photo cards we embark throughout unboxing experiences because, you know, it's very nice touch. You know? Very unique. I love it. And we're left with two more photo cards. One's Bunsua and the other one's Chiki. As you can see, these photo cards are made in plastic. And in the back, it says Billy, The Village of Perception Chapter 2, which is the title of the album. So going back to the protective sleeve that I previously mentioned, I'm just going to use the Polaroid looking photo card as an example. You can place your photo card in it. Ta-da! Oh, okay, a little bit off place, but ta-da! You can place it in the protective sleeve and carry it around anywhere you want. And not damage the photo card itself. So I think this is a very good touch to it. And as you can see, it's still in the same thematic uh, theme that runs along throughout the album. So I think it's a very nice touch, a little spooky. But the color, uh, color wave and everything goes so well together. So I think this is a perfect fit. And in the back, it's a simple magenta. Yeah, so I think that's about it for the album. And yeah, please go check out the Billy's new album. And I hope you guys enjoyed my unboxing experience. See you guys later. Thank you for watching. Bye!